what's up everybody? Shane here. Welcome back to the art challenge. Today we have episode 2 to go over. This time our assignment we received is for a galactic explorer design. So today we will explore the process I took in creating this piece. And it seems as though the theme for my tattoo flash page is going to end up being space themed, which is pretty awesome since I love space in general, so that's pretty cool. So what you have seen so far is me trying to get a feel for how I want the overall composition to look and feel like. I kind of just started with the square that I ended up changing to a diamond, but then I skewed that diamond to a particular liking that I felt was unique to my idea of wanting this explorer to come out of. I kind of had a general idea going into this entire composition, uh, knowing that I wanted a focal point to the drawing to be some sort of astronaut doing something unique in space. I created a geometric shape of a skewed diamond because I liked how it established a boundary for contrast. Usually with minimalistic space tattoo pieces you will see that some of them have geometric shapes like this to artistically contain a story within those boundaries. I liked the idea of having a boundary set up because I can tend to get too ambitious and detailed with my designs so this allowed me to focus more on the astronaut and his actions telling the story while still being able to sense that there's a setting he's coming from. And before we get too in-depth, I did want to express my gratitude for those who watched the first episode of the Art Challenge, and also thank everyone who liked and subscribed. And for all who didn't see that challenge, I was given an assignment by ChatGPT to create a flash tattoo design, which ended up being a celestial mandala. So if you haven't seen that, please go check that out. In this episode, I was, again, given the assignment to create a galactic explorer flash design. And I kind of wanted to jump into a flash design and a flash sheet in general. And for those who don't know, a flash sheet is a page of tattoo designs that are on display in a studio or a binder for clients to view and pick from. They can usually serve as a gauge on what to expect to see on your body should you choose the design that piques your interest. Usually these designs are themed for a page and can be stylistically rendered however the artist chooses to show the end result. Whether that be colored, black and gray, or illustrative, or however they want to display their end result. Most of the time these designs are simplistic, but there really are no rules dictating the limit of details a flash design can or can't contain. Um, and maybe at this point, some of you may be asking why I am actually focusing on this or why I'm doing this. And it's quite simply because I don't have a flash sheet for display yet. Um, I do believe that this is a staple item for any tattoo artist to have available. So I consider it very important to my development as a tattoo artist. And quite honestly, a lot of people who want tattoos but sometimes can't figure out what they want or especially if it's someone's first tattoo and they're struggling to figure out what they want to put on their body, flash pieces in general could help assist them in the process of making that choice. You can even advertise with flash events uh, and also set up certain special pricing with flash pieces. So all of these things make the whole flash page very valuable to have as a staple item for a tattoo artist. Now, if we go back to the drawing, you'll notice a lot has changed. I had the astronaut in a weird anatomical position before, so I ended up changing his posture. His right hand, which is holding the energy weapon, had to move back more to compensate for his left hand reaching. And initially I had both shoulders up around the same height, which is anatomically incorrect when I wanted him reaching outward with his left arm. Uh, I did need a little assistance at this moment in time, so I actually had my daughter take a picture of me in the pose to reference so I could nail the pose. And I'm glad she did because I was kind of struggling a little bit on how to make this look correct anatomically. And right now you can see that I'm adding details to the spacesuit. I got some inspiration by looking at other artists and real photos of spacesuits. And I'm pretty happy with how this came out overall. And right now, there, this is like a segment where I was kind of playing around with the background and other type of effects of maybe some things I wanted to entertain or to figure out. 
Um, and a majority of the stuff I ended up scrapping anyway, but it's all part of the artistic exploration. Once I had my vision for everything set in place, it was time for me to line it all for the final product. So what you're seeing when the screen keeps zooming in and out and spinning around is me on my tablet trying to get all the lines the way that I want them. I'll zoom in to see some small inconsistencies and zoom back out to make sure they look good. Then I'll try to draw a line and if it doesn't work at one angle I will rotate the whole drawing to try it at another. As we approach the end of the video and the final reveal, I want to take this time to thank you for watching this video and to remind you that if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does a lot for the channel. Also, if you want to suggest a flash idea for me to draw, then I'd love to hear from you, the B-Bay community. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope you like the final result that is coming up soon.